Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. We are getting right into it from the last episode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cash in our plorts that we had. And we're gonna do kind of the morning chores, I guess you could call them. Uh, we're gonna, you know, gather up some hens. You can only have 12 hens within a cage before they stop reproducing. Uh, so you don't want to overburden your hens and keep them too crowded. You want to kind of, you know, keep them down a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna feed, feed our slimes, grab all their plorts, and in this episode we are going to be uh, looking into the blue slimes. I believe that should be the next step that we go into because the blue slimes have more expensive poops <laughs> or plorts. Uh, we could just call them, call them poops. We all know what they are. <laughs> There's no hiding it. So let's cash in our pink plorts. I don't think we'll have enough for another... No, once we come back, we'll have enough for another uh, another corral, which we can build for our blue slimes to kind of keep them separated from the pink slimes for now. Uh, we can get into what happens when you mix them later on. Um, you'll see how... It... Oh, here we go. Here's a rooster. So we haven't seen one of these yet. Let's grab them before they eat them. Oh, God. <laughs> so there's a rooster. Uh, struts his stuff like he's king of the coop because he is... He is... What you need to, uh, you know, reproduce, the circle of life, and all that good stuff. So, uh, yep. Whenever you find a rooster, grab them up. They're pretty rare, at least compared to hen hens and chickadees. And yeah, let's see. Let's see. Can we find a blue slime, a rock slime? Oh, never mind. This will do. Nope. Get out of here. No. <sighs> I wanted the tabby. I'd rather go for. Or I'd go for either Tabby or Rock. Oh, oh, not gonna grab that, I guess. They're so... They're on it right now. Alright. Well, let's see. Maybe we can make one spawn. Let's leave this area, and we'll come back. And we'll see if we can get another one to spawn. We can just gather around some plorts uh, from the area. Gather some fruit and food and all that stuff. And then we can come back, see if we can get them to spawn. We're going to get rid of the hen hens and just grab up all the carrots. Because hen hens, uh, again, you can only have up to 12 within your uh, coop before they stop reproducing. So you don't want to overburden your your roostros and you know your coop society <laughs> with uh, too many hen hens. Because then there's no point in having uh, roostros, right? Oh, there's a tabby. Um... Get out of here, carrots. Quick, grab it. All right, there we go. Tabby slime. Those stripes that tell that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, there we go. Let's go put him in a, in a cage. Or a corral, if you want to be civil about it. All right. So let's get him in there. We can only find one. Uh, later on, we'll be able to find a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We got a little kitty cat. And it looks like they're enjoying their food and pooping all over the place, so we can go get some more from them as well. And there we go. And as you can see, the prices, since it's a new day, the prices are rising pretty much for everything. Stock is high. <laughs> so even the peak poops, the most common ones, were rising in price in day two. So let's go ahead and gather up all these plorts real quick. And then we're going to get rid of the pogo fruits. And we're going to grab this hen hen, actually. Because I will show you actually in a second. <laughs> All right, grab up. There you go. All right, let's get rid of the pink parts real quick. And now let's go and make another corral. So corrals cost two fifty on their own. They have many many upgrades, which you can see right here. We'll get into those in uh, future episodes. And here's the type of slime. So type of slimes, as you can see in the top right. You can tell their diet, it is meat. They only eat meat, they will not eat anything else. Uh, if you go to the pink slimes, you can see they eat everything. So you can throw meat, fruit, vegetables, as you've already seen. They eat everything. They're the most basic. Um, and that is why their poops are the worst, because they can eat anything and poop. And these ones are a little bit more premium. You have to find meat, and then they will poop. So they take a little bit more. So let's get our rooster in here. You also go, can go press escape, go to Slimepedia, and find out their favorites. So if you go to the Tabby Slime, uh, their favorite is Stony Hen. And I can show you what happens when you give them their favorite fruits because, or favorite foods, 
uh, because I do have some stony hands from those crates. So, as you can see, once I give him a stony hand, he's gonna chomp it. You're gonna see a little, a little heart, and then bam, you get two. So you feed him one chicken, and you get two poops. So you really want to look out for their favorite foods. Try to get their. Uh, so let's say you have a rooster and a stony hen, and uh, they like stony hens. Try to get those guys to mate so they can make more stony chickadoos and create more stony hens so we can keep getting double the production out of them. But considering we only have a couple, oh god, that's not good. <laughs> so the cats can jump high, as uh, you guys probably can tell. So he just went flying in one little jump. Uh, but yeah, since we don't have too many stony hens, I want to keep at least one so they can hopefully reproduce. I'll just grab this hen hen too. Make sure it's just them two. Uh, we're gonna have to give up normal hens. Normal hen hens. And let's see if we can gather some poop so we can raise the walls so that guy can't jump out. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. We'll have to see how much tabby plorts are worth. There was 22, that's barely enough. Alright, maybe. I don't remember what the cost was for, uh raising the walls it's 350 so we're gonna have to go out and maybe we can find more tabby uh tabby slimes but at least our goal is to raise that uh wall so that way he can't keep jumping out or she we can we can have it as a she and then we can find her a male right now all right they're genderless there's no actual reproducing with the uh, slimes i will let you guys or i'll make a video Probably next episode on what the slimes do when they encounter other slimes. You can see it from the wild. You've already seen what happens in the wild a little bit. Uh, but we'll get more into the details next episode. Alright. Oh, there's more blue slimes. There's actually a ton of blue slimes. We gotta quickly gather them up. But I have no energy. Alright, so now we got three. These slimes are totally metal. So there you go. This game is full of the puns. Alright, so I was gathering plorts. I almost forgot. <laughs> the goal was uh, lost for a second. Alright, so we do have the rock plorts, but um, we will get into, or we'll, we'll give them a home in the next episode. Uh, that's actually kind of good that we got them, so that way I can demonstrate what happens. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So these are the zombie slimes. Uh, they're called the tar, the awful ravenous rainbows. And this is what happens when a big slime, which is two slimes put together, eats another slime that is not of those two slimes. I can't, that was very vague, but that's basically the gist of it. Uh, again, demonstrate it in the next episode. For now, let's just get rid of them so they don't uh, eat everything in existence. Alright, so what do we get out of here? Ooh, there's a... There's a new fruit that you guys haven't seen yet, so let's gather that up. This is the heartbeat. If you listen to it closely, you can faintly hear a veggie. <laughs> so that is, uh, oh, more blue slimes. Rock slimes. What do you want to call them? Alright. So that's, uh, again, another type of veggie. Which, by the way, if we go to our slimepedia, go to slimes, and look at our new rock slime. It is the favorite of the rock slime. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our garden and we'll plant this heartbeat. We'll, we'll hold on to it until the uh, carrots are fully grown and they disappear. Again, it takes 72 minutes. Uh, that's real time minutes to disappear. So um, again, maybe sleeping reduces that time because I don't think it takes an entire hour and a half. Uh, almost hour and a half to fully grow and disappear. Maybe it does. Because we've already been uh, making Let's Play videos for, what, 20 minutes? So yeah, maybe it is only real time. But yeah, let's go sell these plorts so we can raise the wall of our tabby slime so he doesn't get out and eat uh, our what's in our coop. Because again, they smell food, they go after it. Their goal is to get that food. So if he jumps out, he is going to go straight for the coop and try to eat my rooster and stony hen. So there we go, we have enough for the high wall. Purchase it. Shouldn't be able to jump out now. Little tab slam. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It is also getting a little dark. It's uh, 17 o'clock, which is kind of nighttime. So what we'll do, we will uh, keep everything we have right now. Go look at our mail. Like I said, they send you mails. Pretty much what I do is I just look at the PS. 
Um, this is talking about somebody... Um, actually, no, that's not really of importance. You can read it if you want. Uh, maybe you can uh, go slow-mo in the video or just pause it while I'm scrolling down. You can read it if you so desire the uh, story behind this. Um, it is pretty basic, but at least it's a story and it gives you something to uh, <laughs> to, to learn about the lore of the game. But yeah, there we go. It is now the new morning, so that means it is going to be a new episode. So that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like. Besides that, I will see you.